Well hi folks, getting towards the end of April now, so I'll just give you a very quick round up, just show you how things are progressing, start off in the greenhouse. My leeks in the box are growing alright now actually, not too bad. So I'll probably give them another month to grow, until they're about a foot tall maybe. But they're a lot better than they were last year, because they were quite pitiful last year. So I'm quite happy with those, thin those out to about 60 now, so they've got enough room. The banana shallots, likewise, they'll be going out probably... I'm not sure another few weeks yet. Usually when they've got about four leaves on and they're about eight inches tall, but they're doing okay considering it's been it's quite cold at the moment. The spring onions, they're doing really well. Big clumps of those now. So they could probably go out any time now, but we're gonna have to get some really cold weather in the next week or two apparently, so there's no point in sticking them out into that. So they'll just go backwards, so pretty pointless really. These are some of the giant potatoes in the pots. They're some of the, the first ones that I actually sprouted from the chits. If you see, I've got a load more over here. Uh, what else have we got? A few bits and pieces. I can't see for these potatoes. I'll show you those in a minute. That's the kale, some lettuce, some more lettuce. And the savoy cabbage, which is being really slow at the moment. And I've got some more red cabbage, and they actually germinated because the old ones, I thought the seed might be out of date but uh, it was so I've got new, another packet so the lettuces they'll be going out in about two or three weeks need to get a bit bigger than that yet and like I said with this cold weather there's no absolutely pointless putting them out into that so there are the other giant potatoes I'm going to be growing three in the bed and maybe a couple in some big pots and we'll see how we get on we're talking of potatoes it's been a been absolutely massive now these are the early ones the early new potatoes absolutely huge but like I said even in the greenhouse with this we've had some frost and we're going to get some a lot more in the next couple of weeks so I've been fleecing them up whenever it's been sort of down to about one or two degrees just to be rather safe and sorry but like I said when they're getting a bit this when they're getting this big quite tricky to fleece up but uh, and I've no heat in here I should really get a heater but it's such a big greenhouse it cost a fortune to do it so we'll stick with the fleece for now so I'll be setting a lot of peas in gutters about three weeks after the first lot, so I should get a second crop, a continuation of that. So I've only done a couple of short ones because I've only got like a six foot row I can put the next lot in. So that's the second lot of peas. And then finally in here, these are the giant onions that I've put to seed from my 10 pounder last year. And I've got one here, which looks a bit daft because I've stripped all the flesh off. But it's starting to produce, if you can see, some really big flowers, stems now, that's about 18 inches tall. So the flowers should be opening soon and then we can pollinate them or let the bees pollinate them and then later on in the summer should have plenty of giant onion seed to grow whenever. So like I said that's about it in the greenhouse, things are doing okay, quite happy with it so far. But I think there's going to be a bit of a sting to the tail this year with next, next week's weather coming in so I just hope everything doesn't get frost damaged. So we'll nip up to the plot, there's not a lot going on up there still and we'll just finish off up there. Well hi folks, up at the plot, and again, not a lot going on. Remember I planted my gutter peas out the other day, about a week ago, they've all taken nicely now. No problems what, whatsoever. Some of it's had a little bit of a nibble at a couple there, but it's probably slugs or snails more than anything. So that's about all we've got growing in here, apart from the old uh, garlic at the back. I planted my, my onions in there, my onion sets, but there's not a one firing yet. But the garlic's all doing okay now, it's, it's all up, got a full, a full um, sproutage, 100%, which is good. And again, you saw me plant my potatoes out, so they're all in. I've got some others in another place, some of the first earlies. But again, it's been that cold, there's nothing going to be sprouting yet. So as you know, my rhubarb is renowned for being absolutely pitiful, but it's growing a bit now. And even the little small one, this one, this is the one that's absolutely bright red. It's got the sweetest, I'll try and get the sun on it. Really red shoots, all the, really red stalks all the way up, no greenness to it at all, that's really sweet. So what it lacks in, in vigour and size, it makes up for in taste. So I've had a few pick, pickings of that already, a few nicer uh, crumbles. Anyway, on to the last bit, this is where the marrow's going again. The marrow will be getting sowed about the end of this month or the start of May so you can see I put that much horse muck in I've weeded most of it out now 
tidied it all up and I've tidied the plot up a bit as well, got rid of all the rubbish and swept the paths and again that's where the giant runner beans will be going dug all the kale out and the old leeks now, this is where the brassicas are going to be going this year I think I'm going to put, put, put my uh, red cabbage and my savoys there and if you wonder what these things are flashing about because this is where me, I planted the remainder of my onions, onion sets and I came up last night to do a bit of weeding and something had just pinched about 20% of them they're not just pulled them out and left them like blackbirds and things do but they just pulled them out and there was a big hole where they were so I don't know whether it's a bird or a rodent or what but anyway if it's birds this flashing stuff should help get rid of it so in the polytunnel and again nothing's going on I'll be sowing me uh, French bean seeds and my runner beans, sorry not my runner bean seeds, me courgette seeds the end of this month like the maras and they'll be going in in about probably three weeks but one success I had to try to plant me uh, like four year old seed from the for the giant carrots, the long carrots and I wasn't sure whether I'd get any germination but there you go, look at that I put about four or five in each hole and we appear to have 100% germination now in each hole so that's good so at least we'll have something to pull out now I've planted my, long, my stump carrots a bit later so I'll just have a look and see if any of these are germinated if so I'll take the... oh yep, yeah, we've got a bit of germination in there now as well so we've got some germ... we've just about got full germination now so I can take all the protective things off because if the sun comes out when they're on they don't have... it doesn't have fry them so that's really it not a lot going on folks, just a quick five minute roundup showing you how things are progressing it just seems really late this year but I don't suppose it's any later than any any other years so that's it folks hopefully in another three or four weeks we should have everything planted out and things will start looking like a proper garden in a bit so uh, it's just waiting for that to happen waiting for it to properly warm up that's about it folks see you later